Coming up on this edition of In the Valley, the spring musical, the hockey team, Cats on the Hunt, and more. Hello, I'm Claire Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of In the Valley. The Envy hockey team just finished up with their season. Riley skates into the story. The Nequa Valley varsity hockey team had a successful season, accomplishing almost all the goals that they had worked for this year. Uh, I think we met our goals. We uh, got to the Elite Eight in state. Um, we won the league and we also won the league championship. Um, we didn't make it as far as we wanted to in the state. Um, but we, we had a pretty solid year this year. We actually had one of our best years this year. Uh, finished with a really good record and we won the league championship and came top eight in the state. The Nequa offense, which was the best they've had in years, was led by forwards Ryan Rutherford, Reed Martin, and Ben Granado, all averaging more than two points per game. And although the team had lots of fun on the ice, more importantly, they were able to create friendships that will last a lifetime. I think just the, the friendships and the brotherhoods that we, we made throughout the year, um, we, we bonded really well. We did a lot of the same stuff together. Uh, Nico knows can dance. That was probably one of my most favorite memories. Um, so yeah, just sort of hanging out with the guys and get, getting along with them. Uh, favorite part of playing Nico hockey has to be uh, getting to know the guys and building relationships that are going to last a lifetime. The hockey team was full of skill, however it was under the great coaching of Dan Granado that they were able to reach their full potential. High school hockey in my opinion is the best hockey there is um, for a couple reasons. First of all, you're playing with your classmates and the, and the guys that you see every day, day in, day out, you forge relationships with them that are going to last a lifetime. I've had the same coaches all of my years at Nico Hockey and they're one of the best parts of the team and they really brought us together every year and it's not easy when you get new kids every single year. Great job this season, Wildcats, and from In the Valley, I'm Riley Hemingway. Rehearsals for the spring musical are underway. Hannah looks into the story. Over the years, musicals have been a tradition here at Equal Valley, but this year, many Wildcats are confused on what the spring musical is about. So the musical is Once Upon a Mattress, and it's like a spoof of uh, Princess and the Pea, and it has a bit of a feminist twist on it, and it's about... Um, this evil queen who doesn't want her son to be married so she keeps messing up the chances to get married for him and keeps sending all the girls away and then this girl, this wacky girl from the swamp comes in and kind of steals his heart and uh, is not like the other girl. She's not a real feminine girl and so it's very, um, it's very relevant with the times right now. Yeah. Musicals are emotionally and physically straining because they take a lot of dedication and hard work. It's always difficult like having to commit so much because I'm here after school every single day and trying to keep grades up and you know but it really isn't all that difficult. It's all worth it. The things that are kind of like I guess tough throughout the like performance or rehearsals are always kind of like it's all good in the end when you actually do the show. So student directors also face tough leadership roles corralling everybody because we do have a big ensemble so it's really hard to get everybody together but you know once they do it's magic it's watching watching everything come together it's amazing to see ticket information go to nvhstheater.com and click on the once upon a mattress homepage. it's april 27th through the 29th uh that's a thursday friday and saturday make sure to get your tickets wildcats and from in the valley i'm hannah meston there are a ton of places to get chicken nuggets. Our cats are on the hunt to find the best nuggets in Naperville. Mine looks like the United States back then. There's a lot of black specks on it. I think that's pepper. Pepper? All right. Are we giving it for its looks? I would say probably a five out of ten. Five it tastes like nuggets. It tastes like fish sticks. 
boy, when have you had a fish drink that tasted like this? I think the taste is better than expected, but still kind of dry. There was pepper. I don't taste pepper. So, out of a 1 to 10, what would you give it on taste? Um, I give it a solid 6. Six. So this was $1.44. Which I think is pretty cheap in price, so we're gonna give it like a. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 for price. 9 out of 10. So. 9 out of 10 any of your shapes. Uh, I got a boot. I, I don't know if that's technically a shape, but you know. I got a diamond. A uh, curvy diamond. Okay. Sure, sure. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, this, cha this chicken is fake. I didn't even taste it. Exposed. <laughs> like all of McDonald's food. So okay. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm taking another nugget. I gotta try the circle. Taste this one more time. You guys took all that chicken. How many did we eat? There was like. I only had like two. Is that a fat joke? No! <laughs> So who are we declaring the winner? Burger King. We're giving Burger King, <laughs> Burger King the dub. Um, sorry, McDonald's. I should say that louder so we can get kicked out. You need to step up your game. And if we get kicked out, it's your fault. It is. And for Cats on the Hunt, I'm Carly Herzberg, along with Josiah Scott. Thanks for watching this week's edition of In the Valley. Catch you later, Wildcats.